Hello, my name is Gustavo Sosa, I'm going to another video from ST Microelectronics. This is the second part of getting started with the gauge widget. At part 1, the UI was generated and the ADC configured. In this video, we'll continue linking the ADC to the UI. Now we add the code needed. We'll start with main.c file. This defined is the MCU voltage supply used for the voltage conversion. We add the variables needed to convert the ADC values to voltage and temperature, and the array to pass values to the user interface. After QMX peripheral configurations, at user code 2, we calibrate the ADC. At the while loop, we convert ADC values to voltage and temperature, and clear and set some flags. The flags let us know when to start the conversion, if the conversion is ready, and to tell to the UI that the conversion is ready. Finally, at user code 4, we have the ADC interrupt subroutine. Here, we read the ADC conversions and copy them to an array so it can be used. Open model CPP file. At this file is the interaction between TouchFX and the application. We add the flags needed, the counter for a delay is initialized, and the tick method already predefined by TouchFX. The tick function is called every frame. At the tick method, every certain time the ADC conversion will be triggered, and after that, will be passed to the UI using model listener that is a pointer to the active presenter. Open the model header file by placing the cursor on it and F3. Add a variable used. Now, open model listener header file and add a definition of the function used to pass information to the UI, to the presenter first and then to the view. Save the three files. Now, open the screen one presenter CPP file. We will add the method called by the model. This method will transmit to the view when voltage and temperature values are ready. Open its header file and declare a function. Save the files. Finally, open a screen one view CPP file. Add the array that have the voltage and the temperature values. We initialize the gauges at the screen entry. Then add the method handle tick event that will update the gauges using the update value method from the gauge widget. Open a screen one header file and declare the functions and variables. Save the files. Now we are ready to compile. Before debugging, we need to add the SPI external flash memory external loader to STM32 cube ID. The external loaders let to program external memories through the STM32s using ST tools like STM32 cube ID or STM32 cube programmer. The TouchFX generated project have the external loader needed. We need to copy it at the QID external loader location so it can be used. At the TouchFX project folders, navigate to GCC folder. Copy the file with extension STLDR MX25L6433F STM32G071B Nucleo. Copy it to STM32Cube ID external loaders folder. Now we can debug, but we need to add the external loader first. Go to the debug icon, click on the arrow next to it, go to debug configurations. At the project debug configuration, go to the debugger tab, scroll down to external loader. Hit on the scan and look for the external loader. Select it and start the debug session. At pop-up window, select switch. 
a microcontroller and the external SPI memory will be flashed. At the light watch, we add that to arrays, the ADC raw data and the converter to voltage and temperature. We start at the book session by hitting the debug icon or with F8. We can observe the variations while the potentiometer is moved. Temperature variation is very small. Here we have the gauges linked to the ADC in this low cost platform. Thank you for watching.